This is the Remote Work Life Business Spotlight, where I highlight top remote business innovators and share personal and career development tips to help you navigate the world of remote work. I'm your host, Alex Wilson Campbell. I help remote work managers, professionals, and freelancers overcome isolation and uncertainty in their life to get hired and fulfill their career goals. Today in the spotlight, I'm looking at chess.com and no prizes for guessing what chess.com is all about. But of course, as I always encourage you to do, looking at different remote businesses is not just about uh, understanding what they do, it's about also understanding why they do what they do and how they do what they do, how they work, their culture, how they work, their people. So chess.com, yeah, it's like I said, it um, does what it says on the tin. Um, what you should be doing is looking at things like their founding story, who, who uh, founded the chess uh, website? Who are they? What are they, all, what are they all about? Understand their values. Uh, understand a bit about the work culture. And right now I'm at the chess.com about us page. And they say chess.com's mission is to help people enjoy their lives through the game of chess. As the number one platform for online chess, we are focused on growing the game by building great uh, products making learning and improving easier and delivering great chess content and events to our fans. But who are we? And so they talk about their founding story here. Chess started in 2005 when two friends, Jay and Eric, um, decided the world needed a better chess website. So yeah, pretty well established business. Um, they talk about the values here as well. So kindness, learning, joy, but of course, this is all, this is great, it's great stuff, it's good to see, it's good to hear, but you must, when you go, uh, or when you get into interacting with uh, the people within the business directly, you need to ask them questions about some of these things. So can you, uh, for example, give me, let's say you're at an interview with one of the founders or one of the, the hiring managers, uh, you would ask for them to give examples of how their values play out in the workplace or give them, I don't know, ask them how they bring joy to the workplace or how they bring, do you see what I mean? So how do they live their values might be one question. And then the, you should never just leave it to just the one question. So for example, what are your values? You should always follow up to dig a bit deeper to understand if the people who are interviewing you actually understand the values or, or they, um, or align with the values, you see how they interact, or sorry, see how they uh, react to the questions that you ask them. But like I said, this is not about interviewing, this is about the spotlight, putting the spotlight on chess.com, but also, as I said, finding out the what, the why, and the how behind just chess.com. Um, I'd encourage you to, to learn more. I was looking actually for their, got the about us page, got their values. Here it says meet the team. Oh. Although, for some reason I can't click, there's a YouTube video here, which um, the YouTube video, I'll click on that, because yeah, I think this YouTube video talks about the different team members, you get to see their personalities a bit more, so it's always nice to see things like this, because you can understand a bit more about them. So yeah, that's good, a bit of a sense of humour here. They want to put themselves front and center. I mean, if you go across to my YouTube channel, you can see, you'll be able to see what I can see, uh, which is, as I said, different members of the team talking about chess.com and themselves as well, which is always good. I can't see actually if they're hiring or, or where their jobs would be posted. It's not obvious. Oh, here's, oh, I found a great big long list here of, when I clicked on meet the team, it expanded a big long list of people that work for the business. So they've got, they hire in analysis, they hire for Android, they hire for backend, they hire for, let's see, in the business team, they hire within, oh, what else? Different areas of the business. So yeah, it gives you a clue. They're hiring the content team as well. They hire in, 
the events team. So there's lots of different areas in which they hire in, which might suit you, might not. And it gives you an idea of the, it shows the flags of the different people that work in the business as well. So you can see the Brazilian flags, there's American flags, there's Nigeria flags, there's English flags, there's Canadian, there's Ukraine, um, Bulgaria, I think, there's Brazil, there's uh, Poland. So the British flag. So there's lots of representation. There's a French flag. Yeah, so lots of different people from all over the world. So truly distributed team Spain is represented as well. So yeah, India is in the house. So lots of different people. Norway, Denmark, I think as well. So yeah, truly distributed team, worth looking at chess.com. That's it for today's episode of the Remote Work Life podcast. Click the link in the show notes below to access a free list of 100 remote businesses that hire regularly. And if you're feeling stuck or uncertain on issues of career or personal development, head on over to www.remoteworklife.io where you can watch exclusive on-demand video featuring real-world remote work leaders and future of work experts on key remote work topics, including how to get clarity on your career direction, how to thrive while working remotely, how to network effectively and stay connected, and how to tend to your personal and career development needs. Go to remoteworklife.io now, and remember to connect with me, your host, Alex Wilson-Campbell, on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook.